In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a radar chart in Google Sheets. A radar chart is a kind of graph that is used to display multivariate data. It's a two-dimensional chart that plots each variable on its own axis together in the center. And these kinds of charts are commonly used in performance analysis. So what I have here is a basic radar chart showing a student's scores on various courses. And each variable has its own axis, so you can kind of compare together um, all of the different variables and see how the data is displayed. So this is a basic example of a radar chart. And to show you how to create one, I'm going to use this example data where it's the same kind of data. I have student scores on various courses, but this time I have two students. So you can compare them with one another. So the steps to create a radar chart is first you need to have your data and then you highlight your data. And then what we're, we're going to do is select this insert chart button or you can go into this top menu insert chart. Either one is fine. Now depending on your data sometimes Google Sheet is automatically going to choose the chart type radar chart. If it doesn't you just have to come under this chart type section and choose the radar chart. So you can see it created the radar chart and now you can compare each student with each other and see how they score it across these different variables. Now you do have some basic edit options with your radar chart and you can find those in this chart editor. So you have the setup tab and you have some edit options here and you have the customize tab where you have your standard customizations you can make with charts in Google Sheets which is your chart style, chart and axis titles, series, legend, vertical axis, and your grid lines and ticks customization options. So that's pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to show this chart type because not a lot of people are using it, but if you're regularly working with performance analysis, this is a pretty useful chart to know about. Thank you for watching the video. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions or content suggestions, just let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to answer everyone.